Good evening and welcome to our Midweek Motivational Moment. Today is Wednesday, May the 20th, 2020, and it is another beautiful day that the Lord has given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is great all the time and all the time God is so very great. So today for our midweek motivational moment, we're going to do our weekly daily declarations and that's coming from the 366, seeking him along the way. The topic for this week is confidence. Confidence in the word of God in the book of Proverbs chapter three, verse 26, the scripture text says, for the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and keep thy foot from being taken. So we shall not be moved when we place our confidence in the Lord. In the thesaurus, the definition of confidence is being assured, trusting, being reliant, undoubtedly. Having confidence is faith and certainty. Are you placing your confidence in the Lord? Are you trusting him to lead you and guide you every step of the way? Do you realize that the battle is not yours? It's the Lord's. So place your confidence in him. So we're going to begin our weekly declarations. Confidence in you. Knowing you stand with me. Knowing you are with me. Knowing you strengthen me, knowing that you keep me, knowing that you love me, knowing that no matter what comes my way, Lord, you are with me, placing me, keeping me, and standing with me. My confidence is in you. Thank you, Jesus. My confidence is in you. My faith is in you. My hope is in you. My trust is in you. My strength is in you. My assurance is in you. My purpose is in you. My life is in you. In all things, with you, all things are possible. And in you, the power to overcome struggles and obstacles. My confidence is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Going forth in confidence. Go forth in confidence knowing that God will make a way. Knowing that God is with you. Go forth in confidence believing that all things work together for good. Go forth in confidence knowing that you can make it through. Go forth in confidence knowing that you can be victorious. Go forth in confidence trusting in the Lord and leaning not to your own understanding. Go forth believing, go forth trusting, and go forth in and with confidence. Confidence is believing. Confidence is having faith. Confidence is standing in spite of. Confidence is trusting. Confidence is action. Confidence is a lifestyle. Confidence is a great virtue. Confidence yields results of victory. Place your confidence in the Lord. Believe you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Confidence in the Lord. My confidence is in the Lord. Throughout this life, he has been there. From day to day, every step of the way, never failing, never forsaking, never leaving. Lord, you are faithful. You are merciful. You are good. My confidence is in you. Finding comfort when I look to you. Finding peace when I place my confidence in you. Finding strength when I rely in you. Finding faith when I trust in you. Thank you, Lord, for all you do. My confidence is in you. Always, always with me. Always giving me strength. Always giving me confidence. Always giving me courage. Always giving me love. Always giving me joy. Always giving me peace. Always giving me understanding. Always amazing. Always wonderful. 
always good. Thank you, Jesus. Declare and decree victory. Declare and decree strength. Declare and decree endurance. Declare and decree perseverance. Declare and decree confidence. His will and purpose in your life. Declare and decree vision and clarity. Declare and decree ability and awareness. Declare and decree confidence and consistency. Touch and agree. Go forth and believe. Declare and decree. So that is our weekly declaration for this week. Coming from our 366, seeking him along the way. And I just want to say to you that the battle is not yours. It is the Lord's. We must place our confidence in him and we will see him work mighty and marvelous in our life. God is so powerful. God is greater than our greatest challenge. So we have to place our confidence in him, not in man, not in things, but in the Lord. So remain blessed, remain resilient, keep walking and talking with the Lord, place your confidence in him and be encouraged. God bless you.